all you can hear me, we're, uh, this is the Moortown Select Board. We're meeting, uh, this is Monday, September 16th. Um, this is a hybrid meeting. I um, am meeting from, uh, abroad, uh, not in Vermont. And uh, obviously we get uh, a couple board member or three members here at the table. And then John is not here tonight. So I'm going to ask uh, Don if you can, or Don or Callie or Robin, I don't really care who, um, kind of facilitate the agenda. Um, that just way, that way people can probably hear better. Um, so if someone wants to go ahead, I know we have uh, general public comment. I think Joanne Gray. So Joanne, if you want to uh, come up to the table, um, <laughs> get as close as you can and uh, Mm -hmm. Kind of talk in. Uh, hopefully, I can hear you. But uh, yeah. go ahead, and Don, you can kind of, or whoever, just kind of yeah. help things along. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here we are for the general public comment. Okay, I live on the Ward, Ward, Ward Brook Road, as everybody knows. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering what's going on with the culvert. Are we going to get one this year? And if we are, should to be working on Hog Hall to get it available for us to get through? Uh, Ray, so Ray just... is that something? Yeah. Right now, I believe the schedule is that we're going to have the first culvert available the third week in October. We'll wait for confirmation from Camp Precast, and the second culvert will be a month after that. And we are, um, I guess we haven't done anything on Hawk Hollow. <coughs> Think it's possible to get done this year? Or? They'll, be, they'll be done this year. Okay. Will they be done before snow falls? Because Rodney and Martin said the road cannot be plowed the way it is now. Because if you go up When's that road. When's the snow going to fall, Huh? <laughs> When's the snow going to fall? We, this is Vermont. It can be yeah. any time. I've seen it on the 4th of October. So, that's, <coughs> well, that's the answer. The short and the answer is I guess they're doing the best they can. Well, why wasn't it ordered a year ago when the first flood hit? And they put in the two four-footers saying they needed a bigger culvert. And why did they do something then? Why are they waiting over a year now to do this? Well, it's all it's all contingent on the fee bond funding that we get. We have to submit all of our stuff. We, all of the stuff we've put in so far has been emergency stuff. Well, we because some of us are here working. And, yeah, and I know. Why didn't they put in the culvert? They could have had it in in two days. The culvert wasn't available. They said it was. It was in, there was one in Burlington available. It was not. That's available. not my understanding. Yeah, it has to be based on hydraulic studies yeah. to make sure that what's going in there is going to be adequate. But you guys don't live over there. You don't know what that road is. I do live over there. We, oh, you do? We both live yeah. over on that side. Yeah, but you don't live on my road. We do not live on Wardbrook Road. But, but we're right there. I walk on Wardbrook Road a lot of damage. Callie's culvert went out, and that's the third time they replaced that. That culvert damaged all of my thousand foot of stream frontage all the way down to Ray Washburn's house. Mm -hmm. We're all aware of the problems down there. Yeah, Callie's culvert. And we're right doing now. the absolute best that we can, I can assure you. Plus, you got the guy down at Hawks' playing in the brook with the excavator, digging it all up. Got it blocked so he has a road made a gravel walk going across, which is going to cause a problem. He's got a swimming pool. We know that that's in the town of Berlin. We don't have jurisdiction I don't know there. about you, but that's more town. That's mine. I thought you meant down in Berlin. Oh, no. This By is down. Oh, I no, know. this is right. Oh, down the brook. Oh, OK. Yep. Yeah, he's been playing in the brook. He's got two, o two oxen. I believe that's what they are. And there's no grass over there for them to eat, which we feel bad for. We know he's going to get stuff over there. But he put in that bridge a couple years ago. It wasn't even a permitted bridge. It plugged that culvert. That's why that culvert went out. Mm -hmm. Nobody's done anything about that. Then you got the one where Bryce lives up on, our, on the flat above that's cockeyed. And when the water comes down through, it blocks it. All the trees do it. And the water goes across the road and takes that out. Nobody's done anything about that. And that culvert's been like that for many years. When Bryce, when um, Chris Joyle put it in. I, all I can say is we're really, with 
with what we got for resources. Well, if we need to get some from. equipment up that road, say somebody has an emergency, what's supposed to happen? Like I said, I just don't understand when Casellas was there, why they stopped working, because they were told to. I, I there's nothing think. further for them to do. Yeah, I can't. I can't address I, I, that. I don't know. The, the culverts, if they... Why did they put two, those two four-footers back in instead of an eight-footer? That would have made sense. That's what I asked them. They said they couldn't. They were told they couldn't. They had to be the two four-footers that were in the tree and down the brook, which aren't going to hold if we get another flood. I lost a car in this. I'm not too impressed with that because I've had this car for 26 years. I'm not impressed. It came down through those beaver dams, let it go up again, came down through and destroyed my car, which I'm not too impressed with. But that's the town can't do anything about the beaver dance, but other people can. Mm -hmm. But that's this is not the first time, this is not going to be the last time. It happened in July last year, happened yeah. in December, happened in July. Yeah, I know it's nature. All, I know we're all, we're all aware of it. We're doing the best job that we can. And you guys sent me a thing. I got a thing from Ray here for an easement on my mother's property. It says pictures are supposed to be enclosed and other stuff, there was nothing coming with it. Of course I read it. I don't sign anything without reading it. And I'm not really sure what they're doing. And I need to know if all four of us have to sign it or I can. From You got that from Ray? I guess. That's what Sheila gave me. My sister gave me. Oh, that Sheila gave it to it. I'm assuming that Ray gave it to her. Is that from what Ray Yeah, I did. I gave it to Sheila to have you look at it. And I told her if you had any questions, I would come up and go over it with you. Okay. But, okay. I'll bring the plans up and go over it with you right on, on site if you want to. Yeah. I have no problem with that. No, no like problem. I said, in the no, draw. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty minimal disturbance, but. And I'll it doesn't specify when it's going to be done either. So. It doesn't say when it's going to be done. It does not. I know, I just yeah. it doesn't say. Well, I but I need to know if all four of us have to sign it or if I can. Okay, well, they can't, so they can't do any work without you signing just it. Me? Joanne, yeah. They can't do any work without you signing it, though, without, you know. Yeah, but I didn't know if all four of us have to do it. Cause yeah, all no, I mean, yeah. yeah. I've, got a, I've got an easement for Ray to do some stuff to cross my land, and, and it's all just penciled in for now, kind of thing. And, well, you got to remember, my mother has a half acre of land. Yeah. No, no. It's even less now after the flood. Yeah. So I the know. more they take, the less she has, but we yeah. still pay tax on it. We're not, we're not taking it, Joanna, just for temporary access mm -hmm. before we build the culvert. Yeah. We're, not, we're not taking it. Anyway. No, but like I said, it's going to be used for the, for the, for whatever culverts put in there. Yeah, well, they'll stabilize it and it'll actually be a lot better than it is what it is now. We'll see. How much yeah. it takes us to well, again, we're doing the best that we can. I mean, we don't know what's going to hit us. You know, we didn't know that was going to hit us. We didn't know it was going to hit us the second time. We barely got the first stuff in. We barely were able to get culverts the first time around because of the pandemic and shit. It was, I mean, literally ridiculous. Everybody, was, everybody was scrambling for resources. Everybody mm -hmm. was scrambling for rock. I mean... You know how much rock they brought into Ward Brook there. It was wasn't awesome. on they did an awesome significant job. amount. Yeah. Considering yeah. the equipment and stuff they so had there to work with. I know it's not perfect, but Ray's doing a hell of a job. The crew's doing a hell of a job. We no spent millions of dollars yeah. to Casella. You know, we would have probably had Casella stay longer, but literally we're up to our ears and fun, you know, in, in red ink. Trying to just even get caught up by the time FEMA even thinks about refunding any of the money that we mm -hmm. spent. So we're literally doing the best job. We just we want to know what's going on. Everybody does. And, and if you have any questions, you can direct it to the board or you can have Ray have us contact Ray and Ray will answer all of your questions because he's basically taking care of everything for us. So. Do you get paid from the town to do this? Yes, he does. Just want to make sure. It was a bid process to win. I know. Yeah. No. But like I said. To look at any records you want. I know. that process. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure.
But he's, huh? he's, he's been a great asset to the town and to help in the road. There's group. nobody else. Because there's that. so much paperwork to do with it. Mm -hmm. to, but that doesn't help the people who live there. If, if anything happens, they can't get out. Uh, we're doing the best job that we can. And everybody, everybody was able to get out, and, and the roads were completely destroyed, and within a matter of four days to a week, that. probably, everybody, had, was, a, everybody was able to get they out of the They had the road passable. Pass exactly. Us on Saturday the 13th, was, as I was able to get the I big thought, camper out. I with personally the truck. thought it was a miracle. That they, they were, were awesome. I tell you, the work so. they did, and the hours they worked. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, you know, and some of the nicest people. The very best job that they can. The they town, the contractors. Help. Ray has Ray's watching all of those contractors. They were nice like that because Ray hand picked them, and he's you know we're doing the best. We were lucky to get them. Yeah. I, mean, I don't. I can't say any more about it. So unless you have any more comments. Nope, that's it. Okay. I just want to say that if there was, we really did pursue them trying to put the culvert in. There was no culvert available the size that we needed. And we did look at a lot of resources for that. In the end, it turned out that we had to stick with what we had. Yeah, yeah, we know. We we, we were up to date the whole time, so, you know. How's the guy, if, if how's anyone, the guy feel about it that owns all that land over in Holland Hollow? When he opened you that know, I, I'm not happy. I don't think anybody that lives anywhere in that, over on that side of town, is particularly happy about what happened, you know, what nature did to us. Mm hmm four times in a row. But if it had been fixed last you know, year, we wouldn't be going through this this year. You know, there. one thing about FEMA, they'll replace what you got. And that's it. Unless there's a whole study done. Mm -hmm. FEMA whole, has whole, been, uh, unless there's a whole study done about it needs to be bigger, which is why you're even getting a culvert for right. Ward Brook, then they'll replace what you had. And that is what we had in all of those culverts, except for the four footers that were too small. And the reason that those went in is because we couldn't get, get any. I knew that. Okay. I knew and that. the there reason that Casella no put them back is because no. we couldn't get I the right that. one. No. They told and me FEMA that. wasn't going to let us put in anything else. They wouldn't let us buy anything new. So we had to put back what we had until we could get a done one. I, I will say that if we, if we do not get the box culvert in, for whatever reason, we will put an eight foot culvert before the season. Okay. Right, yeah. The house. Okay. And even the eight foot are not going to do much good because that's what took out before. Again, if you have any other questions, right. come and back we'll, to the next we'll meeting. Or, we'll we'll okay. Early one way or the other, the big culvert will okay. be put back. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you for your time. Okay. We're going to move on. Okay. Next item on the agenda. Let's hope it doesn't snow, though. Yeah. With my yeah. This is Fair Vermont. Way. <laughs> Certainly let us know. Yeah, it's for sure. Thank you, Brian. Right. So, we appreciate your time. Did you sign in here? On the oh, little sheet? Put your name on the sheet yeah, unless he, we can, he, so we can contact he, you. Robert, he, he's, little sheet. Sasha's got it. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Okay. okay, we're going to move on to the next item on the agenda, which is Clark and the wastewater treatment. Is Clark on board? No, Ray is stepping in. Oh, Ray is stepping in. Okay. Never mind. Ray is going to step in first, Clark, on the agenda. Yeah, I'm stepping in for Clark. Oh, Hello. Hello. Can anybody hear me? Oh. Oh yeah. We can hear you, Clark. No, it's not Clark. Oh, it's who's that? No. No. Sure. Is is there still time for public comment? I'm. Oh, I'm yes. 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 We can take more public comment. I'm sorry, we didn't realize you were online. Okay. Who's speaking? My name is My name is Stephen Gilman. I live at one 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 Lovers Lane. I'm the last house on the road. Okay. And I'm just checking in to see if there's any update on a uh, timeline for more work being done um, or who I should contact in regard to this. Um, you guys did a great job the day after the, the, the flood and we hadn't seen anybody until this past Thursday. Somebody came along and spent an hour or two trying to grade, grade the road, but it's nowhere near uh, ready for 
parts of it are nowhere near ready for a snowplow at this point. Um, and I'm just wondering, I mean, you know, when, when or if there's been plans, we lost a whole nother set of guardrails along the river. We have temporary guardrails from last July that are still there. Those are temporary is what we've been told. Now we've lost a whole nother set of them. And my understanding is that if it's like last time, that stuff has to go out for bid. So I'm just curious if things like that have gone out for bid so that they can be repaired by by winter. The last time uh, this happened, they were not able to replace the guardrails until November. Um, and so now we have parts of our road, which are um, one lane, which is fine. You know, it's no problem. We can get in and out. Um, but there's so much missing dirt and fill on parts of the road on each side that, um, again, just wondering if there's a plan to bring in more fill. Um, there's a huge hump over a culvert that was exposed. Um, and that, you know, is still this huge hump that's just been covered over with some dirt and some fill. So right now, on the parts of the road that lead to my house, I can go seven miles an hour at the most. That's it. Um, that's how rough the road is. Uh, I can answer that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I'm, this is Ray Washburn, and I've been working with the town on, on the FEMA stuff. And I can tell you that uh, Mark and I are meeting on Wednesday uh, to go over final details. We're putting out like, the work like your road, Alpha bid, a quick bid. So we will uh, try to get where our intention is to get these roads uh, finished off this fall. We are going to put that road out for bid. Um, like I said, uh, it will be out to bid probably early next week once Martin and I worked out the details. And uh, the the major part of the damage that was done last year where the guardrails were up, uh, there's really, and we're still working on the design from that. It's a very, very complex area. Trying to establish a permanent fix there has, has been extremely difficult for any engineer to, to tell us what to do to make this a, a, a permanently safe road. But uh, so um, unfortunately, we'll probably have to deal with the guardrail like it is. Yeah. Uh, we may try to get uh, more guardrail up in the area that you're talking about where it failed this, this year. Uh, but as far as your road by your house, there is every intention to get that road open or, or in better condition so the guys can safely plow it and everybody can have a good safe access this winter. Okay. So will, does a bid include um, guardrails and the fill and stuff like that, or is it would that be two separate kind of? The guardrails would be separate. Separate, okay. Yeah, there's, very, there's very few people that do guardrails. So yeah. it'll, probably be, it'll probably be something we'll just award. Uh, that probably won't even be bid. We'll yeah. have somebody go out and do that. Yeah, uh, the, guy, <laughs> but the guys who did it last year, they did a great job from what yeah. I can see. They really well, did. The same company. You know, considering there's not a whole lot of dirt there to even put these guardrails yeah. in, yeah. you know, so that they can hold up for the, at least for the winter. But yeah, so uh, just be a little bit more patient with us. We, we work, uh, the town has had their hands full with wood contractors and trying to get everybody done. We're coming back around now to really button things up. And that's what right. our intention is. Great. I'm sorry, what was your name? Ray Washburn. Oh, you're, oh, you're Ray. Okay, great. Okay. I was actually over there last Friday looking at things as well. I know okay. exactly what you talked about. Great. Great. Hey, well, nice to see you. Any other questions? Not for me. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll move on to our next item agenda, which is Ray giving us an update on any other road. I was say for the wastewater. Yeah, well, yeah, the wastewater. Uh, Oh, you're well, we're talking about the FEMA stuff. Oh, okay. You pretty much heard what I was going to say about the FEMA stuff. Though. Okay. I'm working with Martin to try to get whatever work the town will can town <clears> will <throat> not do, okay. we're going to sub out. Okay. So it's just a matter of figuring out what the town crew can do okay. uh, the rest of the year <laughs> and go from there. So okay. we will have some contracts out. And I'm sure most of these jobs are uh, like Lover's Lane, 
you know, a few days here and there would make a great big difference. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Lovers Lane, the Cobb Hill, the Mount Road, you know, just a little bit down the road. That's a major thing. We know that. There's work to be done and, and uh, we're, we're going through it. Okay. We just, hopefully, this weather stays dry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well I suppose I feel, like um, okay. I feel like that's going to be ending soon, but hopefully not. So, um, okay. I guess, does that answer your question, Steve? Yeah, he, he, he was all set. He's all set. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you want to move on to the yeah? Let's, let's move, move on, on to the wastewater. I didn't okay, so actually hear for that. Did you print out the letter? I did, and um, Tom looked at it today. There are some funds that need to be received by the town before it can be sent out. Okay. So, uh, if you haven't seen the letter, basically, it is um, we sending this uh, grant that we received uh, a few years ago for the village wastewater. Mm -hmm. uh, we do that um, kind of reluctantly, but you know uh, we're doing it so the money can be used by other towns in the state. Uh, if we don't return the money, uh, it will go back to the federal government. Right, uh, right, yeah. Uh, uh, and, you know, to be honest with you, um, we, uh, from the day we got the funding, I think the committee worked pretty hard to try to make this happen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think the state, and I'm not pointing fingers at anybody when I say this, but I think I don't think they gave us a really clear estimate on how long it would take to to do everything to start from scratch under the conditions of that the sort of conditions yeah. that we have in more town um, to get that all done within a three or four year period. It just there is just a lot of work that has to be done. Uh, and we, saw that. we had, we had they, several test bits that failed. Um, and, then, and then lack of resources from the state as well. Yeah. To and, just even help us along. Well, yeah, there are there people from the state to help us, but, you know, they are, honestly, they're a little shorthanded, you know, uh, archaeological people, uh, the engineers that helped us, you know, they, they're trying to handle the whole state. And, uh, but anyways, uh, but the committee has decided the best thing to do would, to, sure. would be to get back, uh, get back the money. So I saw it in the thing. Valley Reporter, so yeah. I figured it was a done deal. Yeah, the Valley Reporter was a little bit premature, I think, because the select board had not uh, like approved. We had, had that meeting last, the last, last meeting was when we would have done that. Yeah, so I think they were a little early in the report. But, yeah. but, um, but I think the study that got done and the information that's been compiled, yes. and I mentioned this to Clark and Jack, um, it, it's the beginning of, you know, it wasn't something we were going to be able to build in the amount of time that they were giving yes. us anyways. Yeah. And we now have at least somewhat of a, not a roadmap, but of some actions that we can continue to follow up. Yeah. Yeah. At least that's what I need from that meeting that we had at the that's school right. That's right. Yeah. Of, of options that we have and further study that we can do. And, and uh, so, you know, I think we're still, it's 10 years and we might, you know, yeah. we, we might see something like that now. Yeah. And so I don't, I, I, it's a bummer that we have to turn it back over, but I think on the bright side is that we've at least started the process. Yeah, yeah. You know? and I think there'll be funds available moving forward. The state's yeah. going to have to start considering issues because it's communities all over that, you know. That all need to do that this. all right. need to do this. And, yeah. So uh, I think uh, that's, that's the letter, I think, is a good sound letter. I think yeah. the clients are... are Everybody I recommend this like more. They've all seen it though. It has been forwarded on to them, so okay. they know about it. Um, and I guess get back on the theme of stuff, but you know, I'm trying to keep everybody in the loop. Um, um, I don't know if I should put more stuff out on the forum or whatever, but uh, you know, we you know, <laughs> the crews have been working, everybody's been working. It just it's a process. Uh, uh, hey Ray, maybe um, maybe we could put something out, and you know, in a week or so, when you get your after you you and Martin have had an opportunity to kind of map out how you're going to do the final push, as you, if you will, um, yeah. you know, you're doing Lovers Lane, then and just so everyone has has an idea, or at least in the back of their mind, that 
we're not forgotten about and, and people are, you know, will, will come back, which we know everyone is and working very hard, but just some people may not understand that. Okay. We'll do that, Tom. So any other questions? That's a long no. process. It is a process. As you know, you know very well. Wow. Yeah, Payne Turnpike North is going to be closed till probably twenty between twenty twenty six and twenty twenty eight. Because of the grant funding, I mean, we have an eight and a half by eleven sheet just to get started for stuff. You have to hire an engineer to pick an engineer, <laughs> and everyone wants it open like tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I think we've done remarkable. Um, to be open to the point that we are with the damage that we had we had had and even the map that you guys were ray and the road crew martin have put together uh working with i know cheryl lynn and sasha have been working with you guys too so now i think i'm very comfortable that we have a good plan um going forward and good people behind it yeah. um okay. so any anything else does anyone have on for ray as far as um FEMA stuff because I, I do want to go back to the letter because we do need to make a motion on that. Um, oh, I did have just, one point for Ray. Um, all right, go ahead, Robin. All right. uh, so Ray Leo was asking me. I guess he submitted a bill to the town for some emergency repairs that he had to do up his way, and yeah. he was asking if that was something that he would be able to get. A so I've had a discussion with Leo. Um, okay. Uh, he sent us a bill for, I think, $7,000. I think that's what he said. Yeah. yeah. So I looked at the bill. I had a conversation with Leo before he sent the bill. Okay. Uh, and uh, I had told, Leo was trapped in for a couple days, I believe. And he put a culvert in and did some great work. And I came up with a number. I don't know if it's on the. If we finalize that, I think it's nine hundred fifty dollars out of seven thousand uh, dollars. And I talked to Leo last week, uh, and I didn't have. Or Leo sent me some more pictures. Okay. This past week, which I haven't had a chance to look at, uh, I may pursue this further. I would, I would tell him. I, I did tell him. I would look at the pictures, and talk to Martin some more and okay. Sean, who was who were around at that time, yeah. and see if, see if there's any more of a validity to this or is this this it you know i think okay. when i looked at it uh the price of the culvert in five hours excavator i thought i was being pretty generous at 950 dollars but okay. right. uh, he so said he's he gonna pay 950 dollars stuff like that too he put fill on the sides of the culverts and things yeah, yeah uh, uh I, I just said i'd bring it up so all right yeah i, I do want to talk it over with martin and sean again that that's perfectly uh, and, fine with and me we can look at the yeah. pictures together no, and see if this perfectly fine with, with that yep. i said i would bring it up and i did my due diligence so yeah that's, that's fine thank you yeah I, it just makes my screen his skin crawl with stuff like this because when you have residents working on the roads yeah and then some, if anything happens with work that he did, it falls back on the town. Yeah, you're exactly I, right. Yeah, I don't need any, yeah, I, I just said Especially, right. I mean, I yeah. know like emergency repairs, yeah. but you know, when he plows that road, he should have a work in the right of way yeah. permit and yeah. nobody up there does. So because it's a class four road, yeah. it's still a town piece. So. I get emergency measures and that kind of thing, but it just, yeah. if anything happens with that road, we, the town itself can be liable for it. Yeah. And it is a pretty heavily trafficked road yeah, can, for there. a class four road. It is, especially during deer season and the fall season. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it kind of makes a very good point. So. All right. Anyways, that's where we stand with the, with that's the fine. Leo. All right, so going back to the, the letter, uh, Tom? Yeah, I just, if someone can make motion, but we need to make sure that it includes a clause that um, uh, we need to be reimbursed prior to, um, re, uh, to sending back or, or the um, grant. You know, before I rescind the grant, I want to make sure we see that uh, reimbursement money. That's, that's so I guess it would be contingent, the motion would be contingent on. Um, 
Thank reimbursement. You. Yep, good point, Tom. Okay. Very good point. So I can even make the motion, I guess, even from here. Um, so I'll <laughs> move that uh, we uh, refund the state uh, the grant money we received for the wastewater system. Um, uh, contingent upon us receiving our final um, requisition uh, for the last uh, bill that we had for services uh, rendered uh, for that project. Second. 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 Is there any further discussion? No. Uh, just who will, who's going to fix the letter? The, the committee or Sasha? Ray, are we, we have the letter. That was the letter that Sasha sent. Out. I know, but to add that amendment, we're just going to wait for the funds. We're going to wait for the we'll wait for the funds. Yeah. Oh, I because thought you were going to put it in the le actual letter. No, no, because it's oh, not. Okay. We don't want it rescinded until we receive. That's it. there until we receive it. So the, the yeah. motion won't be enacted until we receive that, and then it's valid. Yeah. Yeah. We want all in favor. What's I'm sorry, Don. Go ahead. We wouldn't want them to know that, that which would maybe help expedite the payment. Yeah, no, I think we should reach out and let them know. Absolutely. Let them know. Let them know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's a good idea. No, I'm not trying to be sneaky about it, but just no, you no, know, I, yeah, I just think that that would help them push it along because they want the funds. But we do too. Usually that does. Yeah, I mean, in our little funds as opposed to their over three million dollar funds probably a little bit more impetus on them to get it done quicker so yeah, yeah. right okay well you know how that goes sometimes i do so that's why we have the that's why we're doing this so yeah. all in favor vote aye uh, aye okay. thank you go ahead robin i just wanted to make sure that we got that in there oh uh, no that's great Okay. Uh, uh, next item on the agenda is the open meeting law discussion, which I'm going through right now. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Ray. You guys see you later. So we had the open meeting law. Um, did everyone have an opportunity to to go over this? So it's really there's not a lot. That's changed yep. for us. Um, I think on this on page two of uh, what Sasha sent out uh, about midway down. Um, what does this mean? The changes for us. Okay, starting January uh, 2025, state non advisory body non advisory non advisory bodies, and we are a non advisory body. Um, uh, must hold all regular and special meetings as hybrids, which we are doing currently. Um, uh, and uh, we designate both the uh, we designate both a physical and an electronic. And if you look at our agendas, you can see um, them both. Um, the other thing it talks about: we may also do just a remote meeting if it's an uh, emergency or a local incident or a state of emergency. Um, so the flood would be, that would be an instance of a local incident. Um, if you go towards the back of these pages, if you haven't, you can look up what a local incident would be. Um, but basically if there's something, it could be electrical, there's many different things that would uh, constitute that. Um, so we do have that option. Um, you know, and, um, so if it, in fact we need to, we can, um, and if we are just doing a remote uh, meeting, we must uh, make sure there's, or actually with our act, with our meetings, we, we need to make sure uh, with our hybrid meetings that we have uh, an electrical platform that allows direct access, which uh, Zoom does. Uh, they can also participate by phone. We need to make sure that happens and that number is on the agendas as well. Um, Sorry. Um, the next uh, bullet point on that uh, paper was uh, recording our meetings, which we do, uh, and states that we must uh, post them for a minimum of 30 days. Now, Sasha, we have those posted. Is that correct? I am, they go on to Orca or Mad River TV, so that's, that's the platform they're on. Okay. So as long as they're available there. Um, 
Next thing, state chairs. So this would um, actually it wouldn't be for me, for, certainly for this coming year, January 1st, um, decision-making bodies, the chairs, um, municipal managers or mayors must partic uh, participate in annual professional open meeting law training starting next January. So that was something that I will need to do and we should probably all do if we, we have the time. Um, and then something I don't think we're doing that we need to do, um, and again, this is by January 2025, is we must post uh, an explanation of procedures for submitting notice of an open meeting law violation. Um, okay. And then, you know, a copy of this, okay. this law. Okay. I think that covers it. Well, Did anyone else? One of the questions I had about it and reading it and I'm glad I have this printed out now because I was looking at it on the computer, obviously. But um, public bodies, how, how does that uh, relate to some of our other committees that we have in town that are just, you know, like subcommittees working on different stuff? Is that is that fall under this as well? So those would be advisory. Some of those bodies. people, what's that? So that falls under advisory public bodies. So right. if you reads and, and they're basically the same and actually as they uh, as we go into 25 they merge more so okay. yeah um a lot of these do um pertain to our committees and and such which i think most of them are pretty good about posting meeting agendas and in, in minutes yeah I mean, so, I mean i think most of them all do meetings minutes and and send them to Sasha to be posted on the town website. But some of them are held, you know, in different locations in town, and there's no system to set it up to have it zoomed in or like you know, like to be, you know, they're not they're not they're hybrid meat. I don't know what you want to call them, but they're you know, they're right. No, I, I hear you. They're not they're like not this. They don't have an owl and the computer and and the same kind of access. I mean, some of the meetings that are held here, I know that, you know, the DRB and the planning board, they they set it up like this. But I'm just thinking of, you know, the far fee management meetings that we were having under the gazebo out there, we were, you know, you know mm -hmm. stuff like that. You know, we, we kept notes and we submitted them and stuff. But No, I think we will probably have to... Um... Or we're not, probably we're going to have to meet with the chairs of those committees and make sure they understand what the, the rules are and the laws are and you know make sure that this building this office is available so that people can use it there's enough time in the day and office space here that so you know we've got the technology there's no reason why any of these committees shouldn't be able to come in here and, and use that space right but no i'm just so by January 2025, January 1st, this this coming January, any of our committees, town hall committee, far fee committee, the, the transportation committee we're trying to have, it's kind of disbanded right now, but all those committees will need to be, have electronic access or Zoom access. Yes. Or, yeah. Yep, that's what the law states. Wow, okay. I don't know. Yeah, no, I think it's good because we do get, you know, tonight, well, tonight's actually worked out well for me. I'm glad I could be there at a travel, but, um, you know, there are some people that just can't make it. So it's, it's, it's good, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, uh, and if you go in and read, read through, you know, towns that don't have, um, the resources, I mean, you, you can also ask for a, an exemption if you don't have resources to do these type of things. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have the resources, we have the owl, we have the, you know, we spent some money on that. We spent our ARPA money on some of that stuff. So that's, you know, we got to make sure it's available for everyone to use. Yeah, no, I don't. Well, take, for example, like we're just having a, uh, we're going to try to have another meeting in October to, to brainstorm about town meeting, right? Yep. Very informal over a cup of coffee at Red Hen. So does that mean coming, if we were to have that meeting in January, it to... would need to be here with the with with the with the whole system turned on. 
Uh, yeah. Official committee. It's not an official. I mean, right? Unless it's it's not really an official committee, I guess. Right, and that's probably something we need to address too. Uh, I don't know. I'm just wondering. You know what? Yeah, no, those are good. Those are good call. questions, Don. I yeah. think uh, you know. Let's take those questions down, and we'll you know rather than speculate now, let's get some answers okay. to it. Hey, what also could happen is on one of those meetings, like you're you're talking about, and you guys want to meet remotely. As long as there's someone, if we have Sasha in the office, can be the physical person at the the meeting site. She could be here uh, facilitating a meeting, and you guys could be somewhere else, or someone could be in the office. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I do, maybe when we go to one of these trainings, that could be a question that we bring up. You know, if you're just having an informal, you don't have a real committee here. Just having an informal discussion about something, yeah. you know. I mean, we record the notes and we send them to Sasha, but you know. Well, it uh, says in it says in page three, I believe, includes bodies that are specifically mentioned in state statutes and municipal charters. So if it's not a charter committee like the cemetery commission or whatever, or the development review board, I don't believe it applies. Oh, but it says it also includes committees or subcommittees of those groups. So. Yeah, so it's. I think what we can, we can take these questions and uh, send them out back to BLCT because they yes. they've sent us this with you know the most frequently asked questions. Well, we have a couple more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess no more meeting over at the bar. Okay. <laughs> right. Anyways, okay, great. Well, we'll all keep working on it. Okay, here we go. Well, at least we're doing everything right, so that's good. Yeah. Uh, any other, uh, do you want to move on to any other discussion, Tom, or? Yeah, unless does anyone, Callie, or did anyone else have anything other on the on the open meeting stuff? Well, my suggestion is, is that we, you know, we, we all keep, you know, trying to read this, especially now that Sasha's we all have a copy. Maybe we get a little more familiar with it sometime, maybe before we get to January 1st. Maybe before we get to January 1st, we can just touch base on it one more time. And no, I think that's a real good idea. And also, maybe when we, we should definitely loop in the committee people somehow. We need to figure that out so everyone's on the same page. So probably sooner than later, Don, we should readdress it and then get yeah. figure out how we loop in everyone to make sure everyone is... Maybe we loop all those other committees and, and do this with our community service fair at the same time. That would be a good idea. Okay, we'll see if we... Put it together. <laughs> okay, I'll work on it. Your wife's going gonna... right. <laughs> to... Your wife's going to kill you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, don't... All right. Okay. The next item on the agenda is reports and communications. Sasha? I have some sad news. If anybody has not heard yet, Sean gave his resignation. Kelly, did you hear that? Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that. <laughs> I just wanted to touch base on this real quick i am again it is very sad news i was very uh, sad to hear from sean but we had a very good discussion a couple of them in fact and sean um has a great opportunity he's going to be working for the state in the supervisory position at the, the state complex um you know you, you always hate to see anyone leave um you know, and it wasn't money from basically what he told me and he just has this opportunity um you know, and we, you know, we should be proud of him. He came here with uh, not a lot of experience in plowing or with a CDL. I had a, a lot of mechanical and great mechanic. Um, he was able to get a CDL and now he does Christie's grading and doing all sorts of things. So we've been able to develop him and um, he's done, done well for us. Um, you know, again, hate to see him go, but you know, the doors open if things don't work out or he decides in a few years he wants to come back. You know, there's always opportunities here, but, you know, unfortunately, we, we got to let him go. Um, but I want to thank him publicly. And, uh, you know, I have personally and 
you know, he's, he's just a good guy too, you know, and he's been good with the road crew, Martin, um, really thinks he's, uh, you know, top notch. And, um, you know, unfortunately this happens with people that have those type of skills. Other people want them too. And, but this will be good for him. He's not going to be driving truck and pounding his back and, and whatever. I think it's a, it's a good move. No, I agree. He's been really great. He's a great guy and great guy. I'm really time. sad to see him go, for sure. <clears throat> well, when you look at the Christmas tree on the state house lawn, you can wonder how we decorated it. <laughs> that's going to be his job. Oh, my God. That's a problem. So what's the next step then? Are we put, put down an ad for... Yeah, I think um, I talked to um, Sasha a little bit earlier today about that. Um, that we want to want to get that going. Um, and we can check with Martin to see if he has any specifics that he wants us to, to put in the ad. One thing I thought we should do um, as we advertise it is advertise a range and advertise the not so much the hourly rate, although we have one of the highest in the area, um, but the size of the package. Remember when we were going over the financials? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, you know, I was able to present how we had all the, the benefits and such. So I asked Cheryl Lynn to put that in, kind of together from, you know, our least paid to uh, Rodney, who's the most paid in the, um, you know, not in the management position. So if we had those, um, th those values, then we could say, all right, somewhere, you know, at the low end of this or the high end, depending on what we get for, um, you know, people applying. Okay. Uh, Sasha did share that there was what sixteen. I heard like sixteen in the area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Open okay. road crew positions open. Um, really? So we'll get out there and do what we can do. And like Don, Don volunteered earlier to get his PL. <laughs> so you know, maybe Don will have to it's take it. Uh, yeah. But. Uh, what about anyone else? Any thoughts, um, Kelly? I mean, I know you've you probably have had a few thoughts about it. Do um, you know anyone or anything that we should be doing? I mean, you are on the ground in Berlin, so you hear things too. Nothing. Yeah, not really. I think there's. I think there will be interest, but it's just. People in the world. I don't know why. Like Waitsfield's been looking for a while. Faison's been looking for a while. So I don't know what what the difference is. Why they're not able to find somebody. Well, it's like that. You know, in all businesses right now, and all you know, it's all you know, there's lots of places that can't find people to work. It seems you know. Yeah, but I, I think I actually have heard some of us some interest already. So, uh, mm -hmm. as well. So, uh, oh. one thing we have a good reputation. I think right. um, the way we treat people. You know, Martin is foreman is going to be attractive. Yeah, and like there, and people have been able to move on. I mean, look at Sean. I mean, you know, look at Stefan. Both those guys you know, didn't have a lot of experience and, you know, now they're, they're doing well and they've got, you know, experience, um, you know, Rodney the same way, Martin the same way. I mean, no one started with a ton of experience here and what they're doing, but, you know, we develop people, we give them opportunities, we don't ma micromanage and, you know, the benefits are really, if you're going to do construction work, we're one of the better places I think to work. So with the crew of three right now, I mean, they've definitely got their hands full getting ready for winter. Yeah, I think, and that's why Ray, um, I mean, he and Martin are meeting and, and really kind of dividing up what work that the road crew can do, you know, realistically, what are they, you know, we know we have just normal winter maintenance things, whether it's putting up sticks or doing some of those things that we need to do. Um, and then we're, we're subbing out all the other stuff. So, um, we're trying to be cognizant of not killing these guys, you know, um, we want them to be able to take some time off, not get burnt out because we're going into a season that is going to be, you know, you know, how winters can be. So, um, we're going to do everything we can to supplement 
uh, with outside help. That's all. Our, that's all. That's that's not the same as all the July flood work and all, hiring all those contractors. This will just be the. It'll be getting the roads back to the where they need to be for plowing. Yes. So that's a. This is all themes. That's all still part of the rebuild. Yes. Flood. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. But, not, but the guys will will be doing their. You know, normal getting their plows ready, getting the trucks yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it will be more of a push because there's three rather than four at this point. But remember, we used to do it with three all the time and have someone part time come in right. to plow December, January. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, not ideal. You know, again, we don't want to push these guys and, you know, burn them out. Um, so we'll try to manage them and make sure, you know, sometimes it's really managing them and make sure, you know, they do take some time off. Um, so, but that could be a could potential scenario is that if we're still down, you know, to three workers in the winter, we might have to hire uh, like a person part-time or a contractor part-time to, to help out with some plowing or something. Oh yeah, yeah. we won't go through into winter without a fourth person doing it in, in some way. You know, right. hopefully, hopefully within, you know, two weeks, you know, hopefully in our next meeting or October 1st or even sooner, if we have a deluge of people wanting to, to interview, we'll do it sooner and we'll try to hire someone right off and, and get them on board. Uh, if that does not work out, we'll put another plan together to yeah. uh, figure something out. I mean, we're not, we can't not have a fourth person. Um so we will figure it out. I mean, we've figured everything out, <laughs> you know, in the last few years, we do it. I better get my resume and so. Well, right. Uh, Callie uh, drives a big truck too. So maybe we can get her to get her, you must, <laughs> right? <laughs> Put a plow in here. Ask John how I plow the truck. <laughs> All right. But it would probably be easier to find someone to do the pickup route. Because they right. don't necessarily have to have the CDL. Right. And right. then you step in having the CDL. Can, <laughs> you know, if it comes down to that, can be in the dump truck. Right. So you would oh, yeah, have no. all three plow route and it'd be a lot easier. I know um, we had to do that in Berlin. We had a sub guy who they covered most of it. But if there was a really bad storm, he right. just got he called in. It. He did the pickup. He would just get called in what when he was needed extra. So and um I hope this isn't a shock to you, Callie, but Sean did say he would come in and help once in a while too. So uh uh <laughs> no, he, he, you know, he, he was really great about well, that. He's, he's that also going to pretty much pretty solve the problem then. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that to him. But he's gonna stay on our payroll part-time because he's actually gonna train the other guys to get their uh, trailer endorsement. Oh, good. Um, and so actually he looked into that again, you know, thumbs up to the guy and thank you. He, by being an employee or a part-time employee, he can take it, um, he has to do something, but he said it's very easy and minor to do. And then he can be a trainer for the rest of the group. So he's agreed to do that. So it will save us money. It'll save us time. And we need to get a minimum of two people um, yeah, trained yeah. with their, yeah. So, again, thank you for Sean for doing that. So, um, okay. um, yes. yeah, so John, so, uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. So, Cal, if you can just reach out to Martin, see if there's anything in particular he'd like to see the ad look like. But if you could look, um, I know BLCT usually has some. Um, you know, we probably have some past ones. Cal, if you have anything that you've, you know, got no sense of reinventing the wheel here, but we just want to make sure we have our salary um, averages yes. so people can see their, or, you know, call it uh, not salary, but call it financial package. Compensation and, package. Or there you go. Else. Thank you. Good words right there. Compensation package. And, you know, they have the range and includes, you know, uh, overtime, both their time. salary, oh, benefits, yeah. their clothing yeah. allowance, all that stuff that they, they get. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'll show you. Oh, a... All right. Next thing I have is Joe Gabri sent in a letter of. Uh, he's asking to be appointed to the DRB as an alternate. He was approached by John Riley and Paula Woods. So moved. Second. Are you all in favor of Joe Gabbari being a DRB alternate? Please say aye. 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 Oh, you know what? Just this is going back on the open meeting law. If we do um have people that are remote like i am tonight and if we have a vote and it's not unanimous we need to do a uh, a roll call vote okay. okay so it's not going to apply for tonight but or at least for that thing but just so everyone knows i didn't remember reading that as well roll call okay um the next thing is karen horn sent um an email do you want me to put the light on sure so um she wants to be appointed to VLC town rep for a VLCT's annual meeting. Let there be light. I think that's a great idea. I would um, move to um, appoint Karen as our town rep for the VLCT town fair or meeting. Second. All in favor, vote aye. 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 Thanks. <laughs> um, I have errors and omissions from the assessors. Um, the first one is Comcast with a difference of $112,000 in the negative. Uh, there's Williams and Otter that was $200 in the negative. Northfield Electric went up by $33,000. Vermont Transco went up by $3 million. Um, there's two living trees. One went down $21,000. One went up $155,000. And then there was another living tree that went up $100,000. And they're just looking to have this approved. So I looked at that earlier folks just and under each of those um that sasha read off if you want to take a look at that sheet there are explanations as to why um things changed and some of it was boundaries that were um wrong others just they said they had used the wrong figures the listers so um there are if you want to go ahead and take a look at those um feel free but there are reasons behind that as well and at the end of the day, we came in the head, so it's always a positive too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, my last thing was last year I asked you guys about approving Indigenous Day, which is actually the same exact day as Columbus Day. And that one is a federal holiday. And I was wondering if you guys would consider adding that to our list of holidays. It's in October. Um, well, I think, did we just, I think we can just discuss this. I don't know if we, uh, when we go over, um, we make policy changes for the, the, um, or the, the, uh, the town personnel, work, policy. personnel policy, I'm part, excuse me. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think we should, we can look at that. I, I, do remember you bringing it up last year? I don't think that we looked at it any other time, but to add, um, okay, you know, a holiday. I think we can certainly look at it, yeah. Um, uh, but I wouldn't want to make a decision right now on that That's unless right. anyone else thinks they're real strong about that. Yeah. It seems reasonable, though, seeing that it is pretty much a yeah, a federal holiday now for both. Yeah, I think we yeah. talked about it and we were like. We could add that and take away Bennington Battle Day because don't they get Bennington Battle Day or something, which is a, not a federal holiday or but it's a state holiday. But it's a state holiday. So, I don't know. How many holidays do we have now that we have or that we give? I do not know yeah, that right off the top of my head, but yeah. Callie's looking it up. Well, well holidays. Okay. So New Year's Martin Luther King, President's Day, Town Meeting Day, Memorial Day, Juneteenth. 
Veterans Day, Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day. Well, basically all the federal holidays. Since we had a well, day. Well, the next day. You said that. That's a state holiday. It's a state holiday. Mm -hmm. We get it. Did the banks close? I'm asking because as time's going on, most of us have been here for a while and we've kind of maxed out on our time, our days off. And that would just be one more thing that a nice benefit. One more day. One more day. All right. I'll bring it up for discussion. Great. Thank all you. Right. That's, you that's all I have. Yeah. All I've said. It's a lot of stuff on our way. I know we have Indigenous Peoples Day off in Berlin, mm. but we don't have Bennington Battle Day, Martin Luther King Day, Indigenous Peoples Day. You just said. Or you, you have Columbus Day. I we remember have, that conversation. Oh, yes. Which is the exact same day as we, Indigenous. Yeah. We don't have the other. The other. The other. Three. Yeah. But we have the day after Thanksgiving. Do you have what, 10 or, so you have 11 or 12 Cali? I think we have 10 or 11. Probably. All right. Um, 11. We're at 12. All right. Definitely, I think there's some to look at, take a look at. Next. Yeah. Robin, what do you? Come on, Robin, you were doing so great and hammering this along and that was all right. Is Sasha going? <laughs> uh, sorry. Does anyone else, uh, anyone else have any reports and communications? Don? Well, that we always, you know, reports and communications kind of go into you know old business and new business. Okay. Kind of, right? Well, we can do that in the yeah. section. Okay. Um, so okay. You want do you have documents for approval? Mm -hmm. right. Nobody else has anything? No, no, I have, I have a few things. You have a few oh, things. for reports or for old business, new business? Oh, I have. Like, are uh, you, these are communications with people. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Minutes from August, too. Are you 19? I didn't. Oh, we're not going to start getting this thing. Okay. okay. That's all I have with those. Oh, okay. Okay. So other than signing documents? Oh, well, with all the minutes that we need to approve from mm -hmm. when? Yeah. August. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from August 19th, 2024. Second. Any further discussion on those? There's no uh, changes? Don, you have some changes? No, no, no changes. Just discussion that um, remember when when uh, that's the meeting that Dennis uh, Frecker was here, correct? Uh -huh. And well, I actually don't have a copy of those meeting notes, but um, just to remember what you know, some of the items that he brought up at that meeting for us to keep on the radar, which was you know, he asked us to check in about the start time at the pit. Because yeah, and I talked to Martin about that okay. that day. That was that was actually them, and they had for some reason they had something that they needed to do. And he he apologized to, to certainly to me and, and said to reach out to Dennis. I hadn't, but he was aware um, that it is seven o'clock, and he yeah. said that they would you know keep to it. And they're really pretty good. Uh, like Dennis said, every once in a while they need a reminder, yeah. but. That was okay. extraordinary. Uh, he said he wouldn't do it again. All right. And then he spoke about, uh, you know, just materials by the river and, and this, you know, the certified disposal facility. And, you know, with the, and then, you know, was that George Carpenter's land or something like that? Or, you know, was so it... we did get slapped on the hand by the state for having stuff down there by the river. Yeah. Uh, um, and, it was, and that was in the heart of uh, the flood. And we had contractors that were, uh, um, you know, doing the best they could, but they just started putting stuff where it shouldn't have gone. But we got it cleaned up. But no, he was right. And we, okay. uh, Jaron, I think, just went down and inspected it and made sure that we uh, cleaned it up. Okay.
Okay, well, I okay, guess we're that was it for the minutes. Okay. Yeah. All right, so yeah, all in favor, vote aye. 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 All right. That passes unanimously, unanimously, so we'll be no road call there. Um, <laughs> <We're fine. laughs> yeah. Don, what did you have for old business? Sound like some old business was bubbling up out of your... No, no, uh, well, it's not old. It's uh, carrying on. Well, one is, uh, um, and I was, Sasha and I have been trying to work on, is uh, it'd be good to find someone to clean the bathrooms at the town garage. And Sasha reached out to the cleaning company that does the town office, and they can't add it to their to their workload. So I don't know. I just think that somehow we should try to find, I don't know how we do that, but try to find someone to, you know, I, I volunteered down there and did some cleaning in the town garage, the general area, but, um, you know. Well, Don, you know, this would be a way to your CDL license right yeah, here. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. You know, I, I don't you think it's start somewhere. Out, but you can track it off. You can track this. I, 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 I think it's a little stick shift in the chair and while you're cleaning. You yeah, I just think seat. we should try to, you know, we don't have to spend a lot of time on this, but we should try to find a company that would come in or someone who would come in every two weeks even and just. What about you know, Nicole? Will she do that? I think she was asked before. Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, definitely could ask her. We could ask her again. Yeah, check with that. I don't know if I remember asking her, but uh, but I agree. Yeah, if we could get well, I mean, the guys got the office, do the office and do the yeah, form. Yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So all right. But we can just keep that on the radar or if we all just think of someone who might want that kind of part-time job just to Go in once a week or twice, once every two weeks or something. That'd be great. Right. Um, so uh, my next item is the the um, Merck grant has come back around. Okay. Um, it is five hundred thousand dollars. It's um, due September twenty seventh. Sherilyn and uh, Corey were, went to a little webinar the other day, you know, that the state had. And Corey was working today with uh, with Sam Lash. She had also a, a Zoom meeting for people to attend. Um, at first, we were told last week that we were only certain towns were going to be eligible and that we, we weren't going to be. And then somehow they made a switch around and now all these towns are now eligible to apply for this grant. Okay. So we're we're working on that. Unfortunately, part of the complication of it is we still haven't, we have the energy assessments done, but we've never received the reports yet. You know, um, the, the firm that did them is still not, you know, produced them for the town garage and the, um, and the town hall. So um, basically, I just wanted to give everybody an update. We are going to apply for it um, for the town hall. We still haven't heard about the from about the library rent. And I just did we lose Tom? No, I'm here. Oh, okay, <laughs> we, we lost your you know your face. Um, and so uh, you know we're going to work with working with Cheryl Lynn. And we're going to try to, you know, apply to this. There's certainly, we, we we believe that we hit we hit a lot of the points that this grant is, you know, uh, putting out there as far as uh, energy upgrades and a public building, and a, you know, that's one of the things they stress is those two items that it's a a building used by the public and and that it's uh, you know various energy upgrades that we'll be doing. So I just wanted to give people an update on that. that that's what we're working towards. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Um, I sent you all an email that a gentleman sent me from Gallagher Acres. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if Sasha got to forward that on to you all yet. Did I? Did you see that? It was late this afternoon. Oh, probably not. Oh, all right. Well, you'll then we'll wait. You'll see any. We'll do it next meeting. Then. Okay. So I guess so, someone wrote me an email from Gallagher Acres saying that there's some people with excessive speeds in that neighborhood, and there was. A, is there anything the town could do to help? Um, 
not only you know the in the email they read that apparently some teenagers and delivery trucks and such and there's a lot of kids that live you know people with families and they were just wondering uh if there's anything the town can help with i, I don't even know if we have speed signs up in in that neighborhood or not so um anyways that was one of them another thing we do have to keep in mind that we're one of these days to talk about the class four roads and, and uh, legal trails that the committee did a whole thing on. So we'll have to get back that back on the uh, radar and find the, you know, the report that the committee sent us. Everybody should have it in their email, but maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe I don't know, Sasha can resend it to everybody so that we can be, you know, make sure we're, we're familiar with it. Thanks. We were going to do that tonight. That was on the original agenda but because I wasn't going to be here. I just yeah, yeah. want to be able to well, actually, be in person. Down. Wasn't that on last week? When yeah, we canceled. Have a meeting. We canceled. Yeah. yeah. So we yeah. Didn't. Okay. We'll put it back. And uh, I want to go over. Yeah, that's good to know. Okay. Alan. Uh, I don't have any old business as well. Tom, anything from you, old business? Uh, no, I think I'm good. I think we've talked. Um, I think everything's come up. We had the appointments that people had reached out to me. We got that done. Sean's thing. Um, I yeah, I think everything's good. Um, okay. You know, their next meeting, we'll try to get the, the class four on there. We also want to get, maybe not next meeting, but possibly in October, your group with the uh for the town meeting okay. we need to get th that group backed on i know you said no, we were well, thinking about getting yeah, together the, the uh we're trying to set up a meeting just a town meeting meeting on october 2nd so we'll have to be after that yeah okay. yeah yeah no i was just saying sometime after the next meeting yeah, but, um, um, but before january because you won't be able to be <laughs> yeah yeah, I know. And we're having great coffee and I know, pastries right. and everything. We'll, October. We'll have to zoom in at the <laughs> red hat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And there's a lot of, um, there's a ton of stuff to sign tonight. I, again, I was in earlier today and went through and Don, I think you've signed a lot of it, but uh, there's still, you know, there's payroll, there's bills that we've done out. So make sure everyone takes a look at that. Um, oh. What else is there? I think that was it, Sasha. That's in there. That right. As I far think as so, signing yeah. stuff, there was nothing I else. There was an emotion. That's it. Emission. Yeah. Do we need a uh, motion on that? I to think. Accept? Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. Okay. Someone wants to go ahead and make that motion. Uh, I make a motion. We accept the omissions and adjustments as stated earlier. I will uh, second if Callie's not going to. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Or can we do that? Part yeah, go ahead. No, you can do that. <laughs> All in favor of accepting the motion? Say aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Uh, I guess we should sign because we can't adjourn until we sign then. So right. Uh, it was anything and just ask if it was any new business, anything else, anything new? new? How many members of the board? Don, any new business? Nope. No. Tally, any new business? No. No new business to me as well. Well, all right. We'll, we'll see everyone back. Um October 1st, I think, or no, it was, was it, yeah, no, it won't, because uh, it's like the 6th or 7th, is that the first day in October, first, or first seven. Monday? Seven. October 7th, yeah. yep. Uh, so I guess we'll see everyone there, unless we have anything um, come up prior. The only thing is if we had some real candidate that was real hot to trot and needed to be interviewed, we'd do that, but otherwise we'll try to wait until 7th. Um, yeah. Hopefully we have some some people. What's for who are you for what thing? What are you talking about? Sean's position. For the oh, position. If we have anyone before the next meeting oh, interview, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll meet with them because we want right. them. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I thank everyone. I'll let you guys adjourn when you go. I'm going to run. I've got.
catch up with some people here. Uh, but I appreciate everyone. I hope it was um, you could hear somewhat all right. And uh, but hey, it really, thank you for, uh, for your time. Yeah, it actually on this end, it's it went pretty well on my part. It, it, as long as people are just talking at once and not over. Um, it seems you seem to hear and things are pretty good, but once a couple of people are talking to you, it's like, listen to the, you know, Charlie Brown and his family here, you know, but yeah. anyways, um, thank you everyone, Sasha. Thank you for putting this together and, um, we'll talk to you all soon. Have a good night. Thank you. Yep. Night. Those are just so thick. I had to use two clips. Yeah, no, that one, went to that one, this one, or this one had. Or did you get the omission from? Yep. Okay. Did I make that L4? This one is L4. What is this one? Well, that was just one signature, right? That's just because it was so quick. I needed to use two clips. Okay. Okay. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. They would say aye. 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 Okay.